All right, guys, you're probably sick of me saying it, but I'm not sick of telling you because Saucony is constantly bringing heat this past year and has been under the radar. Some great shoes that no one's talking about because they're doing it without collaboration a lot of time. They're doing it just dropping their website quietly. And I got another great example of that. Today, we're looking at the Saucony Shadow 5000 in the patchwork colorway. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from SneakerHistory.com and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you hadn't done so already, hit the subscribe button down below. We're at 1,910 subscribers, which means we're only 90 away from the 2,000 mark, which means only 90 away from the giveaway being released. So guys, let's go ahead and make sure everyone you know is subscribing so we can get the giveaway out to everybody because I think this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be myself and the Sneaker History crew getting this all together and I think it's gonna be a really good one for everybody, especially with the holiday season. Now, before we get started, you guys know this about Space City, Astros, world champion. So the Dodger fans, Philly fans, Yankee fans, just go sit down. Go, go, go away. I'll talk to you guys next season. Now at that point, I know probably everyone just turned the channel off, but it's okay. I gotta rep my team. Anywho, guys, just like you saw in the intro, we are looking at the Saucony Shadow 5000 in a patchwork colorway. Guys, as soon as I saw this shoe pop up, I think I was just scrolling through randomness on the website, and I saw it, I'm like, yo, this, this has to be picked up. It, as soon as, it, it had to be done. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Saw it, immediately copped, and this is such a cool shoe. Another underrated piece of just sneaker, just, Mm, just with the chef kiss Mwah. like that's this is a great shoe guys and this particular patchwork is supposed to really just I guess represent those patchwork quilts with just different pieces of material or different you know yeah different materials different colors just really giving you that that feel of a patchwork quilt now with this this is not any kind of collaboration this is just a Saucony general release you can go find it on the website right now i'm looking at my computer right now you know what i think a lot of them are getting sold out but there's other places like sneaker politics i think oneness a lot of boutiques still have you sitting around and 120 dollars guys you can't beat those good prices there you're not spending 200 plus dollars and this one, you're getting something really different, something you're not seeing on the streets often. Now with this, it's, the shoe itself, I honestly don't know what to call it material-wise. It's almost like a felt, but it almost feels like a suede. It's a lot of different things going on. Now with this, let's just get right into it because there's a lot of pieces we can kind of break down and talk about. So first things first, we've got our mud guard right across the front here. It is gonna be a almost corduroy feel. It's like a, a tighter, tighter material than we're gonna see in some of the other parts of the shoe. I don't know if because it's the high wear area, but we're gonna see kind of a running theme with that if we get to some of those different, again, high wear areas of the shoe. But this is gonna be done up in a nice vibrant blue with some white, uh, no, I'll take that back, with just a lighter blue stitching going across it. And what I've noticed about the shoe, it's not perfect. It is, has some frays around it to make it look like one of those really pieced together quilts where it has those different pieces of fabric kind of maybe not all the way sewn on or it's a little free because it's an older piece of fabric that they put together. So I like the level of detail they put onto that just to give you that, again, that feeling of what they're trying to convey here. Now we get to the toe box. Again, the, the fabrics are gonna change. So we went from this really tight corduroy type material to this very soft pink material that's really kind of like, feels like felt almost, or maybe just a lighter corduroy. But you guys can see that here as well. Very soft to the touch. I actually, it's very comfortable. It is gonna be, I, I would say, a warmer shoe. There's not any ventilation in it. So I would probably say this wouldn't be a shoe for the summer season, but more for that fall, winter, and very early spring. We keep moving up the shoe as we get to the eyelet area. Just like I mentioned, those high wear areas are gonna have more of a tighter, since be a thicker material. And that's gonna be done up in a kind of a darker pink. I don't know what you wanna call this, maybe like a magenta color, because you have a light pink here, darker pink here, again in a tighter corduroy filling material that's really similar to what we got on the mud guard here. Going up the eyelet, you're gonna have the teal color there, which is gonna be the same, again, that tighter, really, that thicker fabric than we get here on a toe box. And this is gonna, again, done in a teal color that is gonna have your eyelets that are gonna be some black plastic that are put in some key areas, again, keeping some, you know, containment in the shoe, putting a little bit of stability on those laces. So you're gonna have the midfoot with the black laces, uh, black eyelets, I'm sorry, and then the top eyelets are done up in that black plastic as well. You're going to have oval laces done up in white and no other, no extra laces come with it. Someone brought up a good point when I posted this in one of the sneaker groups I'm in. Yellow laces would have made this pop a ton and I, I have to agree. I think yellow laces would have been cool with this, uh, but I'm not complaining about what we have here so far. 
Now, our aglets here are gonna be done up in a red and a yellow. And now, I wonder, let's check the other shoes just for, I didn't really pay attention. Are those done up in the same as well? Okay, same deal, no difference. I didn't know maybe those would be a different color, but we're both gonna have one red and one yellow aglet. And when we get down to our tongue here, it's gonna have the Shadow 5000 really done up in that multicolor. And the tongue's gonna be in that same softer, feltish corduroy material, but in a light baby blue, so which is really cool. And I really do like that Saucony Shadow 5000 tongue tag. It's really just kind of old school looking, especially with the bright kind of neon colors. And you guys normally get the closer shots with B-rolls, so that way you get a better look at it. Now as we get down to the Saucony logo, that's gonna be done in that same light blue color as our tongue. So right here on the side on both the lateral and medial. And again, you can see if you look closely, some loose threads, some just little frays that give it a little bit of personality again making it reminiscent of a patchwork quilt. Now we're gonna have the panel right below the logo done up in that same pink that's gonna be our toe box. So very, very same color, very same material. But below that's gonna be again, that high wear area around the bottom of the shoe, getting close to the midsole, done up in that tighter, thicker corduroy type material in the yellow this time. And you're gonna see that both on the lateral and medial side. Now we're gonna get into the ankle collar and get into the back of the shoe here. So ankle collar again, done up in that pink. You see it peeking out behind. Again, that tighter area, because again, high wear area is gonna have that tighter, stronger material. And right above that, where we wanna get some of that cushioning, you're gonna have that nicer, soft, tight pink that again, we're getting on a toe box. And you're gonna get that corduroy filling material and that teal color right on the ankle collar. Right below that, a little bit more of the pink, breaking into the blue on the uh, heel cup, which is gonna have a reflective tab here. And right at the bottom that is embroidered on there is gonna be Saucony in a white stitching. Now we get into the actual sneaker, the inside, we're gonna have a lot of yellow. So very bright. So you're gonna have your insole that is done up in that yellow color with the red Saucony branding. And something I never noticed about the insoles of the Saucony is maybe it's just this particular one, but you have your insole here, nothing special, just a you know thicker foam, nothing, nothing to write home about though. But if you flip it over, there's an extra cushion area that is, seems to be, I don't know if it's glued or what, but right on the bottom, it's just like an extra piece of cushion for the heel area. So that's cool. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. It's not super thick, but it is very soft, very squishy. So I do like what they're doing there. Now the inside of the shoe is going to also be done up in a yellow. The sock liner is going to match the insole. So not much of a difference there. But again, I like the different just color hits. It gives it something to really just pop. You know, the whole shoe pops. It's really cool. I like how they went about executing this one. Midsole is going to be done up in a white color and it's going to be the traditional Saucony 5000 uh, midsole, nothing special there. And we get to our outsole, same traditional outsole for that Saucony uh, 5000 with those really big lug uh, traction here, then up in partial yellow on the forefoot, breaking into black. And then we have our Saucony brand in the middle that has that teal break, that kind of in input in the middle, or insert, not input. Uh, so really cool shoe. It is gonna be one of those retro runners, so it's not going to have a lot of tech, a lot of breakdown to it. But for those who do like retro runners or just retro type sneakers, this is a great one. I mean, we looked at the Shadow 6000. We looked at the Jazz 81 this year. Saucony is putting out great product and they're doing it in a way where it's accessible to everyone. And it's, I don't know. Take, again, I say it all the time. You're probably, again, sick of hearing me saying it, but take the blinders off. You want something different. You want something that is a bit out of the ordinary, but still a good shoe. Check out what Saucony's doing. I mean, I know, again, in, what, 2012 to, like, 2014, with all of the different, like, collaborations Saucony was doing, they were really, you know, hot in the streets, but it cooled down, but Saucony didn't let that stop them from putting out a great product. And with these not having that hype around it, again, the Saucony website has... A size three and a half, four, four and a half left when I'm looking at my computer. You gotta go to one of the boutiques to find them, which they will have them because when people go to those shops, it seems like they kind of overlook things like this. So don't overlook stuff like this. Fair price, great materials, great just sneaker in general, just something different. Now the shoe itself is gonna fit true to size. I have a size 10 here, I wear a size 10. I'm a normal footer, I don't have an extra wide or extra skinny foot. So I would assume with the way the shoe is built though, if you are a wide footer, I would look into maybe half size up because it is a slimmer build as you can see, kind of top down view, trying to get you guys at kind of different angles there. But it is a bit of a slimmer shoe, but try it on if you can. If you try it on different Saucony 5, Shadow 5000, same fit. So go with that. And I, I say try it out guys. I mean, I keep saying it over and over again, but try it out. 
I am really impressed by this. I'm really impressed with the execution at this because it really is just, it's done well. And I hate to compare it to this shoe because I, I think there's two different shoes, but it's one of those things like if you like the Sean Waller Spoon or Wither, Wither Spoon, however you say his name, sorry, Sean. Um, if you like that 97 one that was done some years back with that corduroy, I think you like this one. Completely different shoe. I'm not saying it's like, oh, this is a consolation prize for that. But if you like that makeup, you like that retro style runner with that, you know, just different materials on the upper, that corduroy type materials on the upper, I think you'll like this one. So give it a chance. It's definitely worth the look, definitely worth the pickup. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. You like them, you not like them. Drop down a note below. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to know when new videos are dropping. Until next time, guys. See ya.